All right, so last time on the Lost Sector, we ended off in the fire pit as usual. I used one of my charges. I don't think I put that down, so let's make that 26 just in case. So for my loom, I'm going to take some time to do those things because it makes sense. So to confirm on a few things, um, I know that these types of structures can be made by afflicted. And uh, we know that the mask is stone and gray. So that's a good thing to know. Um, in my own depth shaping abilities, though, um, I have two things. One is the um, the loom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So What I'm going to do, Matt, is um, start to make pieces for my uh, my throne. We're oh, building a throne now, huh? Mm-hmm. So um, while I'm at the fire pit, I'll be uh, making um, making a few things in particular. One is going to be the base, which is the uh... <laughs> the base is going to be the base mat. Of uh, obviously, we have to do that. Um, so uh... I, I think that's a good plan <laughs> about the base. <laughs> Boom, and uh, we'll have a nice uh, large uh, string instrument. Uh, we'll make that piece, and the second piece will be a uh, uh, a drum. The pieces after that will. I mean, if you're sitting on a drum and you fart. It just makes the wildest noise. You're right. Uh, but the drum is actually like um, not sitting on it. Use uh, that's like the back piece. If you bring up orchestra's uh, picture. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what uh, I'm going to be uh, building here. So um, base first, which is the one that's going vertically up. Um, four string instruments, one drum, and. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And the back piece is going to be interesting as well. It sets the throne itself. So it's all going to be connected. It's all going to go through that way. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun. One sec. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Uh, let us start out by getting into character. So um, what the loom does is uh, roll an influence test. Degree success, pass or failure, adds on to the quality. Yeah. And then uh, roll 40, 10 in a uh, fellowship temporary loss. Here we go. So, like I said, the base is first. And uh, with that, we shall roll. And 33, big numbers. So denote 84 minus 33, which is going to be uh, 51, I do believe. Mm. So can I do this once per day? I'm pretty sure. Like do this. You can attempt it. Yeah. Can use dust to build for fire. Mm -hmm. Performance and influence. Okay. 69, nice. So uh, three degrees of success. I've, uh, I've lost some time. That's okay. Um, with my loom, Matt, uh, can I take more time to continue building? Or because I don't, I could do this, Matt. I could say, um, actually, no. Because uh, it would be mistaken for me to uh, continue playing as I have 51 fellowship now. I might have a fair better influence, but I'm still going to be staying here. So, um, so for the start of it, three degrees of success. Base, base bass. Base bass. The bass. Space base? No, just the bass. <gasps> okay. Um, so once that happens, I will uh Wait the time. Aren't you rolling a negative? Performance then influence, so I don't lose it until both of those are rolled. Okay. Makes sense, right? So, Matt, what I'm going to do is um, mm -hmm. wait another 24 hours. I will pocket in another flame. Okay. Uh, minus one. Um, 
one other thing I'd like to go over while we're doing this map, because this might have some impact. Um, I would like to roll for my third um, insanity power. When um, when you made me roll the insanity for the uh, the nightmare that came out in uh, Lucy's place, I've reached the uh, the third threshold. Let's call it the third threshold. Yeah, when she gave me that twenty insanity for uh, the nightmares, there that was uh, that bumped me up. Threshold, take us to the threshold. All right. So, uh, insanity and corruption. So yeah, at eighty to eighty-nine, and I'm I'm past that now. So, uh, one thing I will do for you um, is roll. Uh, the trauma modifier, get the disorder. Oh, you're gonna make me pull out some books? That's crazy. No power. That's 20. Forty-two meaning of life. So that's for the um, that's for the disorder, and I get a third acute one, um, and then I roll for deranged again, minus twenty. And three for three. Ooh, I like that. The first thing we roll onto is very bad things. All right, cool. You want some willpower tests there, friendo? Hmm. Um, you want me to do more? Is that what you're saying? No, I just need to look at the... Um... Hmm. Hmm, but... Could be better. It could be a lot better, but it's not a fail. It's true. Yeah, right? Let's see what we got. All right, only that one to Sweet. You said for trauma, right? Uh, the insanity trauma stuff. This is the disorder. Yeah. Uh, but I will roll one and under Fraser. Uh, I thought I swapped to uh, orchestra, and then I dis I disconnected after doing those willpowers. That's too bad. Uh, hmm. here we go. Back to it.
Um, you did not roll too bad at all. So, um, it is not worse than what you've already rolled. <laughs> I see. Um, you're looking for disorders. Let's see. Acute mental disorder. Oh, Jesus. Okay, the only rule is 53, so it can't be too particularly bad. Compute mental disorder. Um, for now, um, one string, whenever you play it, while it may not be, it sounds out of tune to you. One string. One of the strings on the core loom, or harp, Whenever you play, anytime you use your instrument, it's not out of tune. But you hear it. it but every time you play it, it is it that a doesn't sound right. Play a whole song. Um, it's gonna bug you. Obsessively bug you. It's always that one fucking string that can't be in fucking tune because the damn thing, just something's wrong with it. Maybe I need to get rid of it, replace it. Who knows? Uh, it is in a, uh, what is we call um, uh, an obsession compulsion disorder. And uh, what is the power that is reflected off this? Um, there's a different type of tune you can play. Uh, it doesn't have to be to steal the faces. It's uh, something a little insidious. It's just um, you can play to give others madness. It doesn't reduce your own, but, you know, um, you can have them roll on the mental trauma chart if they fail. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, um, and not just the fear chart, but they can you, you can have them roll on mental for mental trauma. Okay. Let me write that down. Okay. Okay. And from the book, it would have been <laughs> then...
Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question, Matt. Mm. The Dust Gossamer Wing Bone Cage. Um, I know a lot of those charges are without the um, the vapor um, swirls. Let's call them that. Mm -hmm. um, I, would, I would not call them vapor per se, but they're. Uh, they're the the comet tails yeah the um we know that at least i've figured out that they're it's veil attached right it's um whatever's surrounding that thing um when i put five charges of one of those things i put it in with the gossamer bone cage did it take the veil off of it when it put it into it uh putting any uh energy source into the um the, the Gossamer Bone Cage does not remove the Comet Tails. Okay. I'm glad I denoted the difference then. Okay, good, good. Because you, there are ones that doesn't have any tails at all around them. Mm-hmm. Um, and they look a little different, but um, nothing crazy. Yeah. Um... Then there's the one that's just a ball of energy that doesn't have any of the uh, wispy comet tail on it at all. <laughs> so let's look at this. And uh, what you want to call this third disorder? Do you have it in there? Did we call it um, uh, OCD? Right. And this is the last um, uh, disorder threshold, uh, by the way. Um, yeah. So last disorder threshold. Um... At least... You know, from one digit to one hundred. If you want to add more in, that's completely fine. But um, well, the higher your threshold goes, the higher I can afflict you with one. So um, you're right. So uh, once you get over the hundred for the first time, you'll receive something um, called crippling. It'll be pretty bad, but it'll also make a power that'll be pretty ridiculous. Okay. Um, you're going to want to spend more power into your insanity complex uh, mm -hmm. and specifically have it suppress some of the um, the, negatives. the negative effects. Yeah. 
because uh, the this this one that you just got, this one's gonna be uh, pretty much define your 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 character's behavior a couple times. In fact, it could just you be doing a task and then you're just like, oh, it's out of tune again. No, 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 and then you just uh, you have to obsess and just uh, focus yeah. on it. Yeah. Uh, anyone listening to you tune it though could also just get straight insanity. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it also could uh, potentially affect them with the same obsessive mental disorder. Like something's out of tune with the way they their voices. And imagine that you're, every time you talk, you, just, you 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 think you're out of tune. Why do I That's sound different? Do I got a frog in my throat? What's going yeah, on? It's like a, you know, you're always trying to like change it. Yeah. <laughs> it's who here? Um... Mental traumas. Okay. Um, so I want to hold off on uh, pretty much what this um, throne we're doing is because what I'm going to do is take some days and uh, build it. That's the plan. Okay. And. Um, if you want each one to have a starting um, starting cost, uh, that's completely fine too. Like um, how how much um, charges it will hold, um, all that fun stuff. But what I'm trying to do is make one big item instead of uh, I'm, I'm using smaller artifacts to make one big artifact for my loom. That's that's what I what I was at least my plan is. Okay. You fine you're gonna need a lot of dust yes um there's a lot of dust around me i understand that but um okay so that's that's taken care of let's um go on to the uh how long does it take me to do matt for to make this uh the base however much time you want to spend on it so hmm it's, then it's a tough choice how long do you want to spend on it what is time down here the only thing you have an indicator for time is how long that thing burns for, and even then, what are minutes or hours or seconds down here? It's just, and it just feels kind of arbitrary when the little campfire goes out. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, I guess one indication is when my fellowship comes back, but that's more of a um, overtime thing. Um. Because it has recharges every twenty four hours, right? So, um, spend it, uh, wait, build more, spend it, wait, build more, spend it, wait, build more. So uh, the charge, uh, the fire goes away. I add another one to it. I'm at twenty five now. Are you, using, are you using ones with comet tails to feed it, or not? Not comet tails. Okay. Is there a you? I asked if there was a difference, but you said there isn't. Uh, wasn't much of one. Um, yeah. But I well, I do have ones with comet tails. One, yeah, there isn't much of one when you put it in the, the this little campfire. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, So 
So when I make my base, I try it out. And uh, I realize that something's out of tune uh, while I'm playing for myself and the, uh, the base as well. And it just doesn't feel right. So I take a while, take more time, and uh, realize, huh. Let's get this figured out and then go see if they still can test my test my music to see why and how and the everythingness of this place. Why do these things happen? And then she kind of breaks herself out of it for a second. It's like, oh, okay. Um, we're building. Let's do it. Uh, so she's going to take a day. And then she's going to uh, work on the next part. Okay. So... Um, How much are you planning to... Construct the whole object? Not the whole object, just the uh, the start. So it's going to be the bass, the drums, and uh, um, the amp, we'll call it. The amp will be the, um, the frame. OK. Uh, so take a look. <laughs> mm. So pretty large. Um, yep. How are you going to move it? How am I going to move it? Um, Cuz it's not going to be able to uh chains, Matt. The chains are going to move it? Mhm. Mm They're going to be like tendrils. They're just going to droop down to the ground and Yeah. How do they keep you up? I guess that'll just be in the design. Tension, Matt. There's a... Uh, you ever see the... Uh, when you flip a string up, up and then down kind of deal? And they, they kind of even themselves out in, in space? I, don't, I know it's not hypertension. What is it called? It's... Uh, I'm just going to build off that concept. So the uh, the uh, the chains are pretty much sticking into the ground, and the tension of that isn't making it fall. I will be creating these out of um, with dust manipulation instead, instead of through the loom. Um, is it not possible because oh, we can just try something else? Um, you're gonna need something more. Uh, the weight of it is going to be a little too overbearing. You don't have enough power to the artifact. Okay. Uh, unless you're willing to throw in a lot of your your uh, energy sources. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you would have to probably do one for a chain, a dust chain, for each instrument. Uh, alone, just to be able to have it, be able to lift it, if you're right. going to use the chain system. Um, you're going to need quite a bit more of those. <sighs> okay. Um, how much for each chain? Well, it depends on... This is how you want to build it. There's going to be a little bit of exploratory. Like, you can put in... I mean, the base is one required. Right. But if you ever improve the quality, you're gonna um, you're gonna need more. Okay, that's um, completely if fine. If you want it to be the absolute pinnacle, it could be it'd be one light for each link in the chain per instrument. That's so completely fine. Hundreds. Yep. 
Um, but you know, you're never going to be able to get that many on your own. Right. Unless you're down here forever. <laughs> you're like a cultivator mammal. Just down here, constantly harvesting for hundreds and hundreds of years. Who cares what happens out there? And there's always different qualities of the uh, the light sources. Like, mm -hmm. Well, I think what we should do is uh, make, like I said, a um, couple of instruments first, and then uh, use uh, charges that have the um, the Comet Wisp attached, and use those for the chains. So I'll be using the dust shaping with the 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 wisps. So I'll take the the veil out of those and form them into the chains. Um, the the glue. I'll make those as the glue, the the, the mist, and uh, use them to build the chains. And I will use my other process of the loom to create the uh, the other artifacts for our our start. And then I will go out and uh, find more light. Where you want to go? Left, right, up, down, forward, back? Um, first thing I want to do, Matt, is uh, complete the process. You got so something. I have just a, a, a base. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else. Yeah, you cannot ride it. You have to pull it along like a wagon. OK, it's a good start. They got hover sled at this point. <laughs> Okay. Um, and the chains the drag and leave trails on the ground. Let us uh, do our performance for our next piece, which is the drum. All right. So here's the performance test. Okay. Here's the influence test. Mm -hmm. That is going to be 10 degrees. And that is going to be. Um. Okay, and okay, so twenty five off. Subtract one. Do you want me to do any rolls for the chains, Matt, while I'm making those as well? Sure. OK. What would you like me to do for the chains? I know they're different. Um, you go and roll me just a willpower test to, to really force them into being. OK. So there's the first one forced um, for the uh, uh, the base. Here's the second one for the heartbeat. Um, the next one uh, we we made another day, and uh, we're going to make the um, the amp. We're going to call it the. Um, the amplifier, the amplifier, no. Throne. No, what would you call those? The uh, pillars. The pillars.
performance. And influence. Not bad. So for the pillars, which is the amp, um, it's going to be uh, nine degrees success. And uh, going to do willpower to form the uh, the chain. Okay. Yeah, put together. Um... Chains aren't too hard, but they're not as durable. They don't have as much lift unless you devote quite a bit of um, energy to them, like I said. Yeah, well, well what I said, Matt, is I was using um, one charge for each of them. But we're using this one charge to make them in this case, right? Yep. Okay. So you're saying after the... Uh... This will hold up a basic instrument mm -hmm. per. So you need yeah. one for bass, one for each instrument. And then if you want like the supreme level of it, you have to build a, a light charge or a, a ghost charge for each of the links in the chain that, for right. a whole chain. So that'll be like 100 per. 100 per chain? Mm -hmm. If you uh, want to do the um, uh, full strength uh, float chain. Say you get a, a, a kingly instrument. The weight of that alone will sink the barge. There's no way. So you're going to need an incredible amount of lift just for that one instrument. So you may have to build, um, instead of just using one charge for the whole, uh, whole chain, you may have to use a charge per link in the chain if you get an instrument that's like mega tier. No? Because you're okay. building base instruments, and you can always yeah. upgrade them. Yeah, yeah. We're, these, yeah. These are just the start for it. I just wanted mm -hmm. to have something to go out into. Yep. Um, Okay, uh, so understandable. Um, I will take that into account for everything else. Um, so what I've done is three. Uh, I just wanted to do... Uh, I want to have a another two string instruments. So uh, performance, uh, actually it's another day. So that is... Three and performance and influence. Okay. And okay, not bad. Hmm. I'm actually going to double down on that one. Uh, so, so for sixty-eight, what our new number is going to be, and uh, we shall make the chain, and then we shall do our same two rolls. Performance and influence. Okay, so one the first. First nine degree of success. Ten for the first. The last nine degree of success. And will power make the chain. Okay. Alrighty, so I have five things for my throne. Um, I have the uh, the pillars, amp. I have the first, which is um, string, 
a lot of the I'm gonna call the thorn, which is the base. The last. Which is the, also another string. And then heartbeat drum. And last is nine degree of success, ten degree of success. Ten degrees of success for that one. Three of success. Okay. So an artifact powers loom. So what I'd like to do, Matt, is put um, put a stack of um, charges within these. Um, beside them, I will put the uh, the amount out of question mark.
Okay. Um, an artifact's power is an orchestra. Is that where I put it so far? Great. Um, you know? What, Matt? I don't know until you tell me. No, it's fair. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Um, I gotta leave for my movie in about 35 minutes. So, uh, what would you like to do in the meantime, then? Um, I'll pick a direction and go. Um, you know, I actually kind of want to fix something I've prepared, because things are going to be changing because of what happened so far. Oh? oh. In what, what context? Um, well, Doom Roko is breaking things okay um especially with the wishes that were used and the fact that she just broke many of the, the barrier walls on the seventh floor things are going to change a little bit and she just dropped into the sixth floor and potentially may work her way into the fifth floor and those have ramifications so um okay um what i want you to know for the wishes though is i didn't wish for anything oh, no. uh i just wish for information right okay and now but if that was how it changes uh, a little bit okay Okay. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to make a couple changes to the maps. Let's play a DVD game, and then we'll be back. And uh... Sure. Uh, the only thing I'd ask is uh, for you to make some time over the weekend if you can, and we'll Saturday, Sunday maybe if you can. And uh, we'll, Early we'll... Sunday, yeah. We can do that. Sure. Yeah. I have a... Well, it depends on how early, because we start like three o'clock on Sunday. Uh, well, if you want to uh, make it's, a, it, a morning of it. Yeah, if you can. Uh, I know you like to play uh, light into the night, so uh, I can't stop you on that side of things. But uh, Saturday yeah. night, I have a lot of time. Actually, I don't know. I just know yeah. usually you're playing your uh, game yeah, with Alex. So yeah, I mean, well, we have a lot of people who are. We're in the middle of a dungeon, so they're probably going to want to continue on. So let's see. Um, hmm. Let's do um, Sunday morning. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. That way, because a lot of things have changed. It's actually kind of it's kind of fun because I get to roll a lot of uh, secret rolls now. Mm -hmm. which is really fun because uh, I usually only rolled one per session and normally nothing really came of it. But now I get to roll five or six. Cumulative. Cool, cool. And the, narrow, the, the margins narrowed for nothing happened, so it's not like 50% of the chart. Um, ooh. just to keep you up on, because you had to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, as Rid, uh, he kind of wants to put together uh, a guild specifically for helping individuals. Um, so say, you know how you guys came in and just stole everything? Even though there's people who spent months preparing and getting, you know, and waiting and earning enough money to give a go at it. Well, he kind of maybe potentially wants to build a system where uh, um, there's always somewhere you can sell your stuff, even if it's little, like low-grade stuff. And also, if you, uh, you're you part of the guild and you had a rough time, uh, um, you can come in and get remuneration. So it builds up a um, a large base of people who are looked after okay uh, we'll see uh, 
lot of lot of ideas getting thrown out there. But yeah, um, you just uh, they they cleaned up the, the the third floor, so. They cleaned up the third floor, not just the hunting yeah, ground. Yeah, okay. yeah, the hunting ground. Sorry, yeah, the hunting, the hunting ground. Hmm. Alex also discovered a um uh, a nasty little revelation. Oh. About uh, hunting grounds. Um, the floor bosses, um, certain ones after four, four, three, and higher, you can feed them, and they get stronger, and uh, they have the ability to level up. Right. And if they they fed enough then they get new powers and uh the, the quality of the material and the artifacts and the masks you know also accumulates and also increases so um one of the things that is done is certain parts of the um the labyrinth um what they'll do is they'll assign a high high ranker um protector Job is not to protect the people; it's to protect the floor boss. And if you ever are going to be going to defeat the floor boss, uh, you can't. Um, Same the way. Yeah. Yeah. So his entire job is to interfere with the defeat of the floor boss permanently um, until it reaches a certain state where it ha its quality it's farmable. is, yeah. I got is you. farmable. Yeah, they're raising livestock, pretty much. Yeah. But to do so, they require people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, people as in uh, people, like, to feed yeah. them and uh, right. also to maintain it. Uh, yeah, this one, uh, this floor boss is actually a slime mimic. Yeah, we, as we discovered, yep. Yep. Um... What it does is uh, its face stealing ability is it jumps on you and it has an incredible amount of strength and toughness and weapon skill mm -hmm. to the point where grappling is nearly impossible. And then it steals your face, but it also um, turns you into a unique type of afflicted called Doll. Uh, doll is one of the worst afflicted to become because it robs you entirely of your identity. Um, you're just a mannequin at that point. And if you aren't being puppeted or um, told what to do or piloted by something else, you just stand there like right. a mannequin forever. And that's what this slime makes, which is really nasty. Um, but what it does is it wears the, 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 the dolls. And the dolls, they, they, once the slime leaves, they're still covered in the equipment of the person who wore them. Mm -hmm. um, which is terrifying. But when the creature levels up, it also absorbs the clothing, and then the and the weapons, and then the the masks, and then the trinkets, and then the um, the artifacts, and that's how it gets really powerful. Because if you ever walk into the third floor hunting ground and it's there, there's just a bunch of dolls without any equipment, just bare mannequins, like it's a Silent Hill episode. Mm -hmm. um, get out. Because that that thing is Strong. stupidly powerful. Mm -hmm. um, it's also one of the the rare face stealers that can bypass masks because it goes underneath the mask. Yeah, it's Matt, a... you are in the air for me. I what? <laughs> you were for a second. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's funny. Good. Keep posing on the world. Hmm. Dangerous, I know. But bold. Uh, I hear a heartbeat. I think it might be Trapper.
Oh no, tag. Oh god, this guy's using a brand new part. Tasty. Holy dick. Uh, we just reached... Maximum overdrive. Literally. Three, two, one. No. No, no. no that would be hilarious. If you started at 10, you'd have got it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how fast we're shredding this generator. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, dicks, that was fast. Holy fuck, that teleport was incredibly fast. That was awful. Totem down here. I'm gonna leave this one. I know it may seem dumb, but I should start working on that gem, but this is not the gem to do it. We need different gems. Okay. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Thanks for your patience with me, Johnny. Yeah. How so, Matt? I just appreciate that you know, you're patient with me. Uh, it's a virtue, that's for sure. <laughs> Honest. Degeneracy. Oh. Jesus, they're shredding these things. Ah, that was supposed to be a great skill check. Oh, there's ruin. Hopefully Gare Bear is going to go get him. He was on that side of the map. Oh, uh, well. This is going to be nasty, Johnny. He's going to have all sorts of traps around him. Yep, like that. Didn't swap, though, because he's chasing. Mm -hmm. That guy's going to hit stage two, sadly. Uh, yeah. I could have went and got him. That's fine. We got the gen done. We're down to one. He's only got equivalency. Oh, he just jumped down. You place another trap down. Cool, cool. You coming after me? You gonna grab that guy? Nice grab. Great grab. Borrowed time too. Yeah. Oh, it was borrowed time. Okay, give him space. Enough to get that guy up. Yeah, no kidding. <gasps> she could have put me in basement, but she didn't. She didn't know. She didn't look. Oh! Gonna put some go, 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 uh, go, 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 go. maybe, yeah. She's gonna put some in the by the tree yeah. by the rocks. 
and uh, mm-hmm. buy a pallet. But yeah, give you a look. I think we're in pretty good shape for having two people with death hooks, and unfortunately, you know. Yeah, you were on a death hook, or he was on a death hook. That was a great save, by the way. Uh, well, I had the bounce landing, and I was like, mm, here we go. <laughs> I know which way it can go from here. That's not going to be completely <laughs> entrapped. Did she put any in the house? I didn't see any in the house yet. Um, I got hit by one of the hosts, but um, she went and did something with me. So, if you go straight to me from the house door, uh, it should be a straightaway. But if you go, um, never mind, you're getting chased anyway. Ballin. Mm-hmm. Oh, sh- <laughs> Loser. Never prep door. I'm doing a door now. Okay, we're on the other door then, and uh, we're just got healed up. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friend uh, Alex is mm-hmm. not very good at the game, but he really likes. Let's kill her. Like yeah, killer. yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's kill her. Um, oh. I, I knew it had to be Noed. Knew it had to be Noed. There's no way it fucking wasn't going to be Noed. It's crazy. Start recovering. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, he's going to go pick him up. I'm going to go grab him. Sounds good. Now it's going to be all over my face. Watch the news. Blah, 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 blah. Grab you here. Oh, run, friend. Yeah. Ooh. You, you coming up to So, me? wherever he just was, um, you know, that's where the door is, obviously. Um, but I am. Oh, you going to leave me? You going to pick me up? All right, pick me up. All right. <sighs> Fucking know it, dude. That's a lull. And if I was able to make it to that pallet, I was going to. Johnny, you can also crouch over the traps, by the way. Mm. Go through the house. Yep. Go ahead and. Yep, crouch. Oh. Uh, Yeah, just um, grab me. We'll just crouch out of here. It's not even worth healing because it's no head. Oh, I think I found no head. It's right there. Oh, he didn't come to you though. Oh, we can heal then if you found no head. Oh, yeah. maybe. This is we maybe. got this. We got this. I don't get fucking interrupted. I make this beat no head. Oh, he's dead. No, he's TOH. What am I talking about? That was ruin. <gasps> oh, uh, there's a there's a door directly ahead on the left. That way. We're gonna need to go a little quicker. Do you have any of it prepped? Yes. Oh, no, you do. Okay. Hold those prepped. Johnny, we gotta go, 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 go. No, go. I'm, I'm behind you. Go. Don't get, don't get deleted on the, on the, on the way in. I know you got sprint burst, but time it right because he could smack you. I'm 
I'm gonna watch my Johnny boy get out. Uh, oh, Johnny boy! Nah, too bad. Oh, you didn't have sprint burst. Uh... Nope, I've been uh, rocking uh, bounce landing. Didn't get me though. No, Johnny! Look like I'm in his, uh, you know, his arm there. All right, man, have fun in your movie. All right, thanks, Johnny. Talk to you later. Johnny, no!